This is breaking news from KNWA. Our love for Morgan, her memory, and her voice outlasted his life. And that love continues to shine. Her heart, Morgan's heart shines on. Some closure tonight, but still a host of unanswered questions for the Nick family after startling new DNA evidence announced today in this nearly three decade old missing persons case, the kidnapping of Morgan Nick. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at five o'clock. I'm Doug Warner. And I'm Sonia Hill. It has been more than 29 years since the six year old girl was abducted from an Alma baseball complex. But now police say they have enough evidence to name Billy Jack Lynx, who died in prison in 2000 as a suspect in the case. But could others be involved? Yeah, that's one of many questions posed by investigators today. While our Casey Smith was at today's news conference, in Alma. Uh, Casey, clearly uh, there was a lot going on behind the scenes at Alma PD over the course of the last year. Yeah, that's exactly right, Doug and Sonia. All this stems and this evidence and this uh, groundbreaking development in this case all stems from an FBI response team that swabbed and vacuumed the inside of the red truck that belonged to Billy Jack Lynx at the time that Morgan Nick was abducted. Now, after the findings of those samplings came back right here in Alma at the Alma Police Department, as well as interviews conducted with the rest of Nick's family, police determined that at some point or another, Morgan Nick was in the red truck that used to belong to Billy Jack Lynx. Her memory and her voice outlasted his life. For the first time in a long time, Morgan Nick's mother, Colleen, stepped in front of news cameras at Tuesday's news conference just moments after Alma police delivered what they deemed to be the most significant breakthrough in her daughter's abduction to date. As of today, uh, for the first time that I'm aware of in this case, um, I am calling Billy Jack Links a suspect in Morgan's abduction. Billy Jack Links, who died in prison in 2000, was first named a person of interest back in 2021. But just days ago on September 27th, a report from a Texas forensic lab was delivered to Alma police. It revealed a hair sample from an FBI vacuum collection method of the red truck that formerly belonged to Lynx firmly led to a connection to the Nick family. They determined that the hair contained in the evidence that was submitted, submitted for analysis was that of Colleen Nick one of her siblings or one of her children. But after interviews, police determined Colleen nor any relatives knew Lynx or were ever in his truck, leaving one possible person. The physical evidence collected from the truck that Lynx owned when Morgan was abducted strongly indicates that Morgan had been in his truck. Colleen then opened up with an emotional message for Lynx. He stole Morgan from me. He stole her from her dad. He stole her from Logan and Taryn. Despite honing in on Lynx as a suspect, questions still remain. How was she taken from the ball field? What happened next? Did Lynx have help in abducting, abducting Morgan or concealing his crime all these years? But the biggest question in the abduction of Morgan Nick... Where is Morgan now? ...still remains unsolved. And to try and get those answers, Alma Police has its own investigator working this case nonstop, in addition to local, state, and federal agencies also pitching in. But if you have any information about the whereabouts of Morgan Nick, you're encouraged to call 1-800-THE-LOST. Reporting live in Alma, Casey Smith, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.